Otto the Great was the Duke of Aquitaine by 700. His territory included the Duchy of Asconia in the southwest of Gaul and the Duchy of Aquitaine, a realm extending from the Loire to the Pyrenees, with capital in Toulouse. He retained this domain until his abdication in 735. Early life His earlier life is obscure, as are his ancestry and ethnicity. Several dukes of Aquitaine have been named as Odo's father, Bogus or Bertrand, or Duke Lupus I, who was not Merovingian at all. According to the spurious Charter de Laune, Hubertus was one of Odo's brothers. Odo succeeded to the ducal throne maybe as early as 679, probably the date of the death of Lupus, or 688. Other dates are possible, including 692, but he was certainly in power by 700. Young leader, the historian Jean de Jayogan cites him as fighting in 711 against the Visigoth Roderick in Pamplona. In 715 he declared himself independent during the civil war raging in Gaul. It is not likely that he ever took the title of king. In 718, he appears raising an army of Basques as an ally of Chilpric II of Neustria and the mayor of the palace Regenfried, who may have offered recognition of his kingship over Aquitaine. They were fighting against the Austrasian mayor of the palace, Charles Martel, but after the defeat of Chilperic at Soissons that year, he made peace with Charles by surrendering to him the Neustrian king and his treasures. Between Umayyads and Franks, Otto was also obliged to fight both the Umayyads and the Franks who invaded his kingdom. On June 9, 721, he inflicted a major defeat upon al Samh ibn Malik al Kaulani at the Battle of Toulouse, the first major battle lost by the Muslim Umayyad forces in their military campaign northwards, claiming the lives of thousands of Umayyad soldiers. The heroic victory was celebrated with gifts from the Pope, who declared the Aquitanian Duke a champion of Christianity and solidified his independence. In order to help secure his borders against the Umayyads, he married his daughter, probably named Lampuja, to the Muslim Berber rebel Lord Uthman ibn Nasser, called Munazza, by the Franks, the deputy governor of what would later become Catalonia. Battles of Garonne, Tours and Death. In 731, the Frankish Charles Martel, after defeating the Saxons, turned his attention to the rival southern realm of Aquitaine, denounced Odo's alliance with Uthman ibn Nasser, and crossed the Loire, so breaking the peace treaty held with Odo. The Frankish leader ransacked Aquitaine twice, seizing Bourges too, and Odo engaged the Frankish troops but was defeated. Charles went back to Francia. Meanwhile, the Umayyads were gathering forces to attack Odo's ally in the Pyrenean region of Serdan Uthman ibn Nasser. In 731, the Berber lord was subject to the attack of an expedition led by Abdul Rahman al Ghafiqi, overcoming and killing the rebel leader, and capturing Odo's daughter, who was sent prisoner to a harem in Damascus. Busy as Oddo was trying to fend off Charles's thrust, he didn't make it to help his ally. In 732, Abdul Rahman al Ghafiqi's troops raided Vasconia, advanced towards Bordeaux, and ransacked the city. Oddo engaged them but was defeated by the Umayyads near Bordeaux. Following the defeat, Oddo reorganized his scattered forces and ran north to warn Charles Martel, mayor of the palaces of Neustria and Austrasia of the impending threat and to appeal for assistance in fighting the Arab Berber advance, which he received in exchange for accepting formal Frankish overlordship. The Duke, aged almost 80, joined Charles Martel's troops and was to form the Frankish army's left flank, while the Umayyads and the multinational army commanded by Charles built up to their forces somewhere between Vienne and Clain to the north of Poitiers, in preparation for the so-called Battle of Tours. Otto led his forces to play a major role in defeating the Umayyad army when they broke into the main Cordovan camp and set fire to it.
Sparking confusion and playing havoc with the enemy's rear guard, the alliance defeated the Umayyads at the Battle of Tours in 732 and repelled them out of Aquitaine. After the battle, Charles headed back north to his domains in Francia, Neustria and Austrasia, and Duke Oddo was left as ruler in Aquitaine and Vasconia. In 735 the Duke Oddo abdicated or died, and was succeeded by his son Hunald. He may have died in a monastery where he retreated, perhaps as late as 740. Oddo the Great's popularity in Aquitaine is attested by the Vita Pardulfi.